Hey guys, it's Bushali Paile here. For those of you that don't know me, welcome back to my channel where I'm going to be giving you another exciting video that's going to talk you through another way of getting corporate ready. So in today's video, we're going to be speaking about how do you dress for success, right? It's so important how you show up on interview day. And I'm going to be sharing some do's and don'ts that you just need to be mindful of as you prepare to go for an interview. So it's so important for you to be mindful of how you present yourself at an interview, because to be honest with you, it generally takes recruiters the first 30 seconds to make an impression on whether you're someone that they may want to take or not. And you don't want to be someone that's already starting on a negative and having to kind of work your way up in the interview, right? So make sure that with the tips that I'm going to be sharing you, you're implementing some of these things so that you're not creating how you've dressed and how you've presented yourself as a barrier before you've even spoken. When you dress for an interview, it's important for you to firstly feel comfortable in what you are wearing, but to dress in a way that makes you feel confident about yourself. Confidence, as you know, is such a big and important um, attribute to be bringing to an interview. So many things get lost in the lack of confidence, right? The way you articulate yourself, the way you speak, um, and, and how you trust what it is that you are saying. And, and sometimes just dressing up a little bit more really gives you that sense of like, okay, I'm here and I'm going to do my best and I've dressed for the part and you just feel ready. So, so the way in which you dress is really going to be important in how it really helps you show up from a confidence perspective and really just give that little bit of edge uh, before you start actually sitting and going through the interview itself. In terms of outfits, so from a lady's perspective, I think it's absolutely okay for you to either wear a suit, for you to wear a skirt and jacket, uh, for you to wear a dress, right? But there's things that I want you to be mindful of as you look through these three outfits. So when you're wearing a suit, try and make sure that you're wearing a suit that is tailored, that fits you well, that is comfortable. Um, and make sure that as you put on your suit, you're always wearing the jacket with it, right? It's absolutely fine if later on, as you get into the interview, you want to take your jacket off, but be pieced together from an introductory perspective. And then if you're feeling hot, maybe take it off and put it to the side. So if you're wearing a dress, I think it's always important for the dress to look formal, right? So please don't wear summer dresses, long dresses. Those are not necessarily the types of outfits that you'd put on coming to a corporate environment. So it's important that when you put on your dress, firstly, not too long, right? And it's not too short. It's important for you to be comfortable in your interview because I don't know if you've noticed, but when you are uncomfortable in what you're wearing, you walk differently. As you sit, you're always kind of readjusting yourself. You're always mindful of whether your buttons have closed properly or not. Just wear something that's comfortable for you and that fits your body well, okay? Don't pitch up at an interview with a spaghetti strap, you know, those very thin straps. Um, it's important as you come through that you look professional and this look is really not professional at all. So make sure that you're wearing something that somewhat covers your shoulders. It doesn't have to be a long sleeve at all. It can cut off right here, but make sure that it's something that, that fits you well once again and that it's not too low in terms of how it cuts through the top. So for the guys, I think it's quite simple for guys, make sure that you're wearing a suit, right? And you come for an interview, come through with a suit that is matching. Make sure that the colors that you are putting on are not colors that are overly distracting, right? They're not bright colors. Um, and trust me, I've seen this happen as well. People coming with like orange or like red suit. Um, if you can, keep it quite simple, right? Whether it's the black, the gray colors, um, even if you want, you have a beige suit that you want to put on, absolutely fine. But keep it symmetrical in, sen in the sense of the pattern and the colors that you put on. You're welcome to wear a tie. I think wearing a tie with your suit really does complete the look. But make sure your tie is not overly colorful, right? There's not cartoon characters and all of that kind of thing. Try and make sure that also from a color perspective of your tie, it doesn't clash with the suit that you're wearing. And that's why black or gray is always somewhat safe because the colors then are generally neutral. Whatever color your tie is generally goes with the black suit. If you don't have a tie, I think wear the type of shirt that you can button at the top. Because even if you come with a suit and it's buttoned at the top, you still look formal, you still look presentable, and you still look professional. Now ladies, the type of shoes that you wear, you don't have to wear heels for an interview. I definitely think people that do come to the interview in heels, it does finish off the look a little bit more. 
but it's not necessary. If you're not someone that's comfortable walking in heels, then you're welcome to put on kitten heels, right? Which are just slightly shorter um, heel. As long as the shoe looks professional and it goes with the outfit that you're wearing, then by all means. And guys, in terms of your shoes, make sure that you're wearing formal shoes. Black or brown generally goes in a corporate space, depending on your outfit once again. But make sure your shoes are clean, make sure that they're polished as well. So it just completes the look and you look ready and professional. Now let's talk accessories a bit. I think for the ladies, please make sure that when you put together your accessories, you're not wearing overly chunky accessories from a necklace perspective, from an earring perspective. Um, I think the best way to kind of present yourself from an accessory perspective is really just trying to make sure that you're keeping it simple and neat, right? So make sure that your earrings are not overly colorful or not overly big. Make sure that it just fits the profile in terms of what you are wearing because it's important for you to always make sure that there's nothing distracting about the way that you look and the way that you've presented yourself. You want recruiters at any point in time to really just be paying attention to you. And lastly, from an accessory perspective, if you have any face piercings, right? Make sure that you take it out just for the interview. We want you to present yourself in a way that we would see you if you were to work here. And a lot of corporate environments, having kind of facial piercings and stuff is not the kind of look that we are going for. Um, so do try and make sure that if you have any face piercings that you've taken that out. The next thing is makeup. Uh, once again, I think from a makeup perspective, try go as neutral as possible um, and make sure that you're not kind of putting too much color around the eyes, really bright uh, colors on your lips. Um, make sure that you are just adding that little bit of measure when it comes to your makeup for an interview. So a neutral look is really kind of the best way to go. I'm, I'm not saying don't wear color on your lips, but what I am saying is please make sure that your color that you put on your lips or on your eyes is not distracting, right? It needs to go with your outfit. It needs to go with the way you're presenting yourself on that day. So please don't go all out on your face. Make sure that you're keeping it clean, that you look neat um, and that we can see that you've made effort. Now, down to your nails, right? So when you have nail color for an interview, I always recommend that you try and make sure that your nails look neat, that they look clean. Try and make sure that your color is consistent. Um, I've seen people come through with really long nails that are bright green, that are bright yellow. Very, very distracting, right? And you don't want to be the kind of person that's remembered for your nails, right? You don't want to be, oh, who's that girl that you saw? You remember the one with, the one with the purple nails, man, those long purple nails. Oh, yes, yes, I remember her. That's not what you want to be remembered for, right? You want to be remembered for what you've brought to the table, what you've said, how you've convinced us, how you've presented yourself. There's so much more that we want to be focusing on. So please equally like your makeup, like your accessories, make sure that your nails are kept clean, neat, and non-distracting, right? Because the focus should always be you. Next thing I want to speak about is your hair. Um, and the hairstyle that you have for an interview. I think a rule of thumb with hair, please make sure it's clean, make sure it's neat, right? For guys, make sure that you've had a fresh haircut, um, that you look like you've actually taken some time to take care of your hair. I know there's guys that come and they've spent time growing their dreads or they've spent time growing their hair long and they really don't wanna cut it just for an interview because maybe they're only gonna start the job in a year's time or whatever the case may be. But if you're going to have long hair that you don't want to cut, particularly for the interview, please tie it up, right? Especially for guys, tie your hair up. Make sure that it's back, that it's neat, that we can focus on you during the interview and it's not about your hair. Ladies, equally, whether you have your hair tied up or down, make sure that it looks clean, make sure it looks neat, um, but also make sure that it just stays away from the face, right? Don't have too much happening in your face where you're constantly flicking the hair or you're constantly adjusting something. Make sure that it's not something that's going to distract you during the interview. Um, so make sure that it's kept clean and neat all the time, uh, but out of your face is the most important thing. So guys, those were some of my do's and don'ts from an interview perspective in terms of how you dress, how you groom yourself and how you present yourself on the day. Even virtually, right? 
make sure that you are still presenting yourself in exactly the same way on a virtual interview. It's not okay for you to look like you've just rolled out of bed just because you're at home, right? You still need to take as much care, you still need to do your makeup, you still need to do your hair, you still need to dress appropriately, right? So from the waist up for a virtual interview, make sure that all the tips that I've given you still apply because it's important how you present yourself virtually as well. One quote that always resonates with me is the quote around dress for the job that you want and not the one that you have, right? So if you're a student going for an interview, don't dress like a student, dress like a professional, right? Because what do you want? You want to be seen as a professional, so you dress like one. If you're someone that is in a very junior job and, you, and you're wanting to maybe move up into a manager role, an executive role, dress like a manager, dress like an executive, right? The way you present yourself commands a certain presence all the time. So always be mindful that you, you want to dress for the role that you want and not who you currently are. So that's always helped me in just reframing the thinking every time I advise someone around how they dress for interviews. And I really hope those tips were helpful and that you guys are gonna make use of them when you do go for your interviews. Wishing you guys everything of the best and really looking forward to giving you more tips on how you can get interview ready.